Good afternoon, YouTube. I've been uh, using my little recycled analog TV running with my Raspberry Pi Model B Plus for the last couple of weeks, and I'm primarily using it as a radio. So I set up several of the radio music add-ons in Kodi, and right now I'm running the NPR streaming add-on and you can see you get a kind of a nice display it's you know overkill for a radio but it it has speakers it has the LCD screen for uh, you know for your user interface and you get that kind of nice uh, display there uh, you've got the main menu there and I can use my little remote control. I don't have all the radio add-ons, but there's quite a selection. This is just the NPR add-on, and you can see they have it sorted out by state, and then under state there's, you know, this is just California. Yeah, there's probably a good 50 stations there, and there's, of course, 50 states at least. That's the uh, NPR stream. There's Pandora. I haven't tried all of these. I, this is the basic radio streaming add-on. There's about 7,000 radio stations that are sorted out by country and, and different categories. You can get uh, local radio stations. There's uh, the top stations. You can go by country, by genre, you can search for a specific station. So just to see here, there we go. It's, it brings up the station icons or logos for the, the particular station, and these are all local to your area. And you can create favorites lists and and then with the radio, you can you can pause, resume. The radio add-ons are under the music tab, so you get to those. Uh, you know they're in the various add-on packages. I think this is just the standard Kodi add-ons, and there's quite a selection of radio uh, channels uh, from various parts of the world and different kinds of uh, signals and. So what I'll do is I'll show you a few tips on setting up uh, Kodi as a streaming music or radio player, and especially in terms of using it with analog output. There's a couple of tips that you need to use if you're using the analog audio output you can refer back to my earlier video I did on adding analog audio and video output uh, connector to the Raspberry Pi. You would need that to get the analog audio out. So I'll, I'll put a link to that earlier video on the getting the physical connection, but there's a couple of additional steps you need to do to get the analog audio out and add a suitable level for your device. With this particular TV, I needed to have a rather high audio level in order to get a reasonable volume out of the, the speakers. So that's going to vary depending on what sort of input your sound device is set up to uh, handle. So anyway, I will do a follow-up video with a couple of tips on getting the analog audio set up. In the meantime, you can check out some of my other cable cutting and Kodi Raspberry Pi videos. I'll put a link to the playlist up in the corner. Any questions or comments, put that down below, comment section. You can subscribe to my channel for updates. And as always, thanks for watching.